Welcome to Zero Web Concept. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up Instant Indexing API for your blogger.com website. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to set it up and how to submit your link to the Indexing API for Google to index your blog website. So if you're ready for this video, let's go. Welcome back guys. Like I said before, I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up Google Instant Indexing for your blogger.com website. So in this video, the first step we are going to do, we are going to create a new tab and search for Google Cloud Console. Click on enter. So scroll down and click on this link here, cloud.console.cloud.google.com. Click on it. The link will also be in the description in case you don't find it from Google. So once the website is fully loaded, so you agree on their terms and condition and click on agree and continue. So guys, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button because on this channel, I share videos like this on blogger tutorials, WordPress tutorials and how to develop your website in general. So the next step here guys is to click on select a project click on new project and give the new project a name so we'll give this project a name as passive income and click on create Once our project is created, we click on select project. And next step here, we are going to create a service account. To create this service account, we we'll also click on this search bar and search for service account. And click on this first layer here, service account, click on it. And click on create service account. Also give the service account a name. We'll also give it passive income. So do not forget that this name doesn't matter. The only reason you are giving it a name is so as to create the project so you can. And also note that this name doesn't matter. So if you just give it any name, you can remember. So click create and continue. And choose the rule. Choose the rule as owner. Click continue. So the next step here, click done. So the next step we are going to do here, we are going to create a JSON key. So to create the JSON key, click on the three dots here. Click on Manage Key. So click on Add Key. Click create New Key. Choose JSON and click on Create. Once you have created the key, it will automatically download the key to your system. So you go back and copy this email address here. Click on Copy to Clipboard. So the next step here guys is to go to our Google Search Console and add this email address here as an owner in the Google Search Console. So the next step will create a new tab and go to our Google Search Console. Click on the Search Console. So once you are on your Search Console, scroll down on the left menu and click on settings and the settings please click on users and permission click on add user paste the email address here give it permission as owner and click on add so 
then you should make sure this email address is added to your google search console so after adding the email address to our google search console the next step is to go to our indexing api tool so once we are on the, go back to our indexing api tool the indexing api tool i will share the link to the indexing api tool in the description of this video so stay tuned so once you're on the indexing api tool the, the first step you have to do here is click on this play button here click on it click on run anyway So once it's done running, the next step here is to upload the JSON key which you generated and downloaded to our computer system. So you click on choose file, go to the download page and select the JSON key, click on it, click open. So as you can see it has successfully uploaded. The next step is to scroll down. Click on the next play button here under import necessary libraries. So as you can see, key is successfully added. Then we scroll down here. The next step here is to go back to our Google Cloud Console and enable the indexing API. So we'll go back to our Google Search Console. On the Google Search Console, click on the search box and search for indexing API of search so you'll find the indexing API click on it and click on enable So once the indexing API is enabled, the next step is to go back to our indexing API website. We we'll go back to our website, copy the URL of our website, come back here, paste the URL here. So click on the play button again. So as you can see guys, URL and update request type configured successfully done. So we have successfully set up the indexing API on our blogger.com website. Although this API has two methods to set it up. So the second method here, I will also show you how to set it up. Then you can pick which is more easier for you to use here. So after, once you want to use this indexing API tool, you publish a post or page on your website. You copy the link, come to this page and paste the link here. And paste the link here. Click on the play button and it will automatically submit it to Google Search Console for indexing. So the next method here is to scroll down. Also click on the play button. Click on connect to Google Drive. And choose the email address which you connected to your indexing API. Click on allow. Once your once the play button shows mounted at successfully connected, you create a new tab and go to the Google Drive of your email. That's your Google Drive. Click on the drive, then go click on go to drive. And we also upload the JSON key which we generated and downloaded to the Google Drive. Click on, click on upload. So once it's uploaded, the next thing here is to change the name of the JSON key. So we'll go back to our indexing API. 
So we'll copy the name of this JSON to here. Then go back to our Google Drive. Click on the three dot here. Click on rename and rename this JSON key after the name on the indexing API. Click on OK. Then we'll go back to our indexing API. Also click on this play button here. As you can see, adding key keys added successfully. They feel they are not a robot. Step here, we'll go back to our website again. Copy the URL of our website. Go back to the indexing API. Move the URL here. This is our own URL. And also click on the play button. So, as you can see, URL and update request type configured. So, guys, among these two methods here, you can choose to use any one of them when indexing your website. So the next, if you once you publish a post or page on your website, is to come to this API, set up everything, repeat the step which I have told you on the video, and click and paste your link here and submit it for indexing. So guys, in order for you not to do this, list, after setting the indexing API, I will suggest for you to in, to bookmark this API on your browser. So click on bookmark, click bookmark this time. So once you publish a new post page and you want to submit it to Google, let's say I close this page and I publish a new post on my website and I want to submit it to my indexing API for indexing, I will create a new tab here. So I click on the bookmark here in my browser, click on it. Then copy the link of my website. Come back, come back to the API here. Move the link here and paste the link. Click on the play button. Click run anyway. So as you can see, guys, URL and update request typed configured successfully done. So guys, you can choose to use any of the method. You can choose to use this second method or use this first one here. So once you want to publish a new post or page on your website, you just remove this link here paste your own link and click on the play button and it will automatically send it to google search console for indexing so guys you have come to the end of this video please if you like this video please comment on this video like the video and share it with others who want to set up indexing API on their website please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel if you haven't subscribed yet thank you for watching this video and goodbye